Kim and Jay might have just changed the way the world views Asian footballers. For those of you who don't know, and that's honestly embarrassing, you really should. Kim and Jay is a Korean center back who just won the Scudetto with Napoli for the first time in 33 years. And he did not do this as a bench player, as a rotation guy, as somebody who only plays in the Italian Supercoppa. He did it as the best center back in Serie A. If you ask me, he did it as one of the best center backs in Europe. In fact, if I had to do my FIFA World 11 for this year, Kim and Jay is one of my two center back selections there i said it you can go at me in the comments but it's facts and since winning the scudetto with napoli there's been a big online discussion around kim min jay and the main sentiment around the player which i believe comes from a good place but it's slightly ignorant is oh my god look how quickly this man has ascended in his career you'll see a lot of i can't believe he got this good in napoli so fast that's so impressive to which the og korean supporters including my friend albert kim who you guys have seen on the channel many times are like hold on bud kim min jay's always been this good you just didn't care because he's korean and while i might debate my friends on the severity of how true that is i do acknowledge that that is a fact there is a sentiment a stigma that exists in Europe regarding Asian footballers overall. At least you have examples like Park Ji Sung, Sung Hyun Min, Cha Boom, Kezuke Hande, Hidetoshi Nakata. You have countless examples of guys who have come over here and they have done it. But defenders is a different story. I was reading this thread and this guy was talking about how defenders like Maya Yoshida and Hiroki Sakai, both Japanese, were kind of the ones who paved the way for Kim Min Jae to come in. And while I see the argument that this guy was making, you cannot say that Maya Yoshida or Nakatomo or Sakai did enough to change the collective mind of European football fans, executive, board members, coaches around how they feel about Asian defenders. Because if we're being real, and with all due respect, I love me some Maya Yoshida, okay? I love Captain Japan. Those players had, what, four decent seasons in Europe? And in no way am I trying to diminish what they accomplished because I think that that was an important first step in seeing how well Asian defenders could perform in a top five league. But we have never seen anything like Kim Min Jae. Kim Min Jae's stats don't even seem real. The man has an 85% successful tackle rate in Serie A. That is insane guys it is the best percentage in the division by a mile to give you guys some perspective Kylie Dukulibali who was you know the anchor of Napoli's defense for years before Kim and Jay came in a player that everybody thought Kim was going to struggle to replace in his final season in Napoli what do you think his tackle percentage success rate was? It was 66%. 19% worse than Kim Min Jae. That means out of every five tackles, Kim Min Jae is giving you one more successful tackle than Koulibaly, a Napoli legend. I'm just going to read the rest of his stats because it's honestly insane. He's sixth in clearances, 36 in total tackles, 38th in blocks, 16th in interceptions, highest rated defender in Serie A on Fought Mob and Who Scored. And according to Opta, he was only dribbled by five times the entire season, which led Serie A. So again, I'm going to reiterate, while I appreciate every Asian player who has come over here and done their part, put in the work to basically say, hey, we belong here. What Kim Min Jae has done, guys, we can't compare it to anything else. Maya Yoshida's best season in Europe was 2017, 2018 with Southampton, and it does not even compare to what Kim has done. I genuinely think this could be a watershed moment, not just for Korean football, not just for Asian defenders, but Asian football overall. We have never seen anything like this. If you want to take this season in a nutshell and compare it to any of the other top defenders in Europe, it is a better season. It is a better season than Militao has ever had. It is a better season than Rudiger has ever had. It is better than Jules Koundé. It is better than Tomori. It is better than Upa Makano. It is better than Matthias De Ligt. It is better than the most elite, the most revered defenders in the world. And you know what? I'm completely sympathetic to the frustrations of the Korean fans, my friends, Asian fans in general, because there is a certain stereotype that needs to be overcome, at least initially, before everybody starts taking you seriously. Finally, Asia has a proven commodity in the defense, and not just any commodity. This isn't wood. This isn't like pencil lead. 
this is gold this is diamonds right here and you can bet that there are some meetings going on in executive boards around the top five leagues where people are saying where the hell did napoli get this guy and the greatest irony in all of this is tottenham could have signed kim min jay what three years ago but they didn't want to pay the seven million or whatever it would have cost to bring him over and why did they not want to do it partially because he was playing in the Chinese Super League and hey it's not really known for developing elite players but also because why would you take a risk on a Korean center back when you've never seen that work out but I'm hoping Min Jae has just opened the door not even the door like literally the floodgates the dam I hope that the dam has been breached and we will now see a a revolutionary change in the amount of players that are coming over from Asia and the number of teams that are now willing to take that risk in buying a Korean center back, a Chinese, Japanese, Vietnamese center back and giving them a shot because now they have proof. Now I have a really bad feeling that Kim Min Jae is not going to win all the awards that he should. I like I I seriously doubt he's going to end up on the FIFA World 11 even though he absolutely should. Now if he doesn't win Serie A defender of the year then I am going to personally get involved in the riots that are happening in the street of Naples because that is an embarrassment for the league. It's an embarrassment for the award and honestly I will never take it seriously ever again. I'm really not trying to be hyperbolic in this video although I probably have already done that, but I think we could really look back at Kim Min Jae as one of the revolutionary players in the history of the Asian game. Before you had 100 plus Japanese footballers in Europe, you had Nakata make his move to Serie A. Football is an investment and these first players, they're the prototypes. They're the proof of concept. They're the thing that investors want to see are operational and are working before they put their money behind it. And so to my Korean friends, I hope you will show some forgiveness to the ignorance coming from a lot of these football fans. You guys let me know what you think in the comments of this video. Do you think we are going to see an increase in defenders coming over from East Asia into the top five leagues? Do you think teams are going to be seeing what has happened with Napoli and Kim Min Jae in the ridiculous return on investment that they're going to get from this man and say, hey, we want some of that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. And remember to leave a like on the video and follow us on social media. All the links down below. Hit subscribe so you don't miss any future Asian content. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you on the next one.